Hello, today I'm going to teach you how to use the terminal in Ubuntu 10.04. First, let's open up our terminal. When you first open it up, you start out in the directory, uh, home, and then your user. If you're unsure sure what directory you're in, you can go p d d p w d. It'll show you your home, and then whatever your user is. That's where you start out at. Let's say I want to move back one. So you go cd space dot dot. Now as you can see, I'm just in the home one. I'm no longer in this one too. It moved me back to that one. Now, if you're now you can go ls to show you all the possible ones in that directory. That's the only one. So you can go cd space the directory you want to move into. See, now if I go pwd, it shows me I'm in this one, in this one. Now if I type in ls, it'll show me all the possible directories. Well, uh, that's basically all I need to do to navigate through the windows of uh, Ubuntu. Now let's say you want to copy some files or something. We're going to go into the documents folder, or directory. I go ls to show all the stuff in there. As you can see, I've created an example document in which we will be messing around with. cp is another command. It's for copy. I'm going to copy example. And we're going to rename it new e. Now if I go ls, see it copied example and named it new e for new example. Now you can go rm for remove new e. Now if I go ls, see it deleted it off my computer. Uh, you can go clear to move everything back to the top. Uh, and see, we're back here. I'll say you want to move a file somewhere. You go M V for move. Example. Now we're gonna move it. See the squiggly line there? That's the same thing as me typing slash user, but this just saves you a bit of time. You just go like that into the pictures directory. See, now if I go ls, see, it's no longer in there. If I go back one, and then go into the pictures, and go. See, I moved it in there. Well, those are some of the basic commands. Uh, another useful one you might want to know is install oh, sudo app.git install GIMP. This will install the GIMP. I actually already have GIMP installed, but see, it already tells me that. But you can also go uh, remove GIMP. Now I'll delete GIMP off your computer and it says, Are you sure you want to continue? No, I want to keep GIMP. Uh, other than that, that's pretty much all you need to know. If you really want to run anything, you can just go to sudo. Oops. Go sudo gimp. That's easier. See, now it runs gimp. See, you can just go to sudo in the program you want to run. And uh, that's pretty much it. Those are really the basic commands for the terminal. I hope this tutorial has been informative to you. And uh, thank you for watching.